In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make an electrified cobweb card, which is a modern twist on a Victorian era classic. While traditional cobweb cards feature an intricately cut paper web on top of a concealed underlayer, often containing a hidden sentiment or piece of artwork, this one also contains a light up circuit powered by a CR2016 battery and illuminated by one or more Chibitronic circuit sticker LEDs. Like traditional cobweb cards, this electrified version has an element of surprise. The secret sauce of this one is a normally closed reed switch in the circuit layer and a magnet concealed inside of the cobweb layer. Inspired by the birds in my backyard, I used a pencil and gouache paint to create the artwork for my cobweb layers, but you can use any medium of your choice. I used a Cricut machine to cut the cobweb layers using a file that I designed in Inkscape. To access the SVG, which may be imported into most fabrication tools, visit this video's description below. I experimented with different weights of papers for the cobwebs and found that light cardstock or thin watercolor paper worked best. For my art layers, I chose a text weight paper and I cut that by hand. I cut the remaining pieces for the card from sturdy watercolor paper. To create the round card base, I started out by gluing like layers together. The battery layer, which will contain the battery tray, needs to be the same thickness as the battery. If your paper isn't quite thick enough, you may need to cut additional pieces. After assembling like layers, sketch the battery and reed switch placement onto the base layer with a pencil. A normally closed reed switch and removable magnet will create the switching mechanism for this card. Using the circuit overview as a guide, I'm using conductive fabric tape to complete the negative trace on the base layer of the card and using more tape to tack down the legs of the reed switch. You might find it easier to tack the legs of the reed switch down with conductive fabric tape before continuing the rest of the negative trace. Next, I'm gluing the battery layer to the base layer. Mm -hmm. 
Off camera, I used colored pencils to sketch a nest on my art layer and planned to light up one of the eggs. Before completing the circuit, I used a Japanese screw punch to poke a hole in the art layer for the LED and mark the location on the circuit layer. Using the circuit overview as a guide, I'm now creating the positive trace, which starts on the back of the circuit layer and then wraps around to the front. When applying glue to the back of the circuit layer, avoid the area that will be overlapping the battery tray, and remember to insert the tray before adhering the circuit layer on top of the base layer. Next, it's time to complete the negative trace that you started on the base layer by connecting the path of the LED to the end of the reed switch that is not directly touching the battery. Firmly press down upon the conductive tape connected to the reed switch to ensure a robust physical and electrical connection. Insert the battery negative side down and apply one or more Chibitronic circuit sticker LEDs. If desired, glue a scrap of vellum to the back of the hole in your art layer. Add a spot of double-sided tape to the top of the magnet so that it will adhere to the center of the cobweb layer. Before you press down on the sticky magnet, sew a thread through the center of the cobweb layer. Use a needle to poke two holes in the center of the cobweb layer and then reinforce it with a bit of tape before sewing through it.
center the cobweb over the sticky magnet, pressing down and carefully lifting it off of the circuit. Apply a small bit of tape on top of the magnet to secure it. If the area remains sticky, dusting it with talc will help. Glue the art layer to the circuit layer and try to avoid getting glue in the area that will overlap the battery tray. Apply glue stick to the outermost ring of the cobweb layer. Before pressing down, let the magnet attach itself to the reed switch. You'll know it's in the correct position if the LED turns off. With the magnet in the correct position, press the edge of the cobweb layer down all the way around the base. If your LED appears to blink or your circuit seems to be losing connection, you may need to add conductive fabric tape to both sides of the battery to increase the surface tension inside of the battery tray. Once the glue is dried, your cobweb card is complete. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below.